Well, it's noon, and that means it's time for another one of our devotionals. And today, I want to talk to you about encouraging somebody else. You know, with what we're all going through right now, if we're not careful, the focus can become very inward. How am I doing? And how is this affecting me? And when will my life ever get back to, to normal? And those are just natural questions. But I think it would be helpful if we would maybe change our emphasis a little bit and to ask ourselves this question. What can I do to help or to encourage somebody else? The timeless truth for today says that God providentially places people with various needs along our life's path whom we can encourage, help, and point to Christ. And so I would encourage you as you go through this day and as you go through this week, be looking for an opportunity to encourage and to bless somebody else. Your life is not all about you, and my life is not all about me. And we need to remember that, that God wants us first and foremost to focus on Him, but He also wants us to focus on helping others and meeting their needs. It's interesting, just a few minutes ago, I had the radio on here at my house, and I was listening to the end of a sermon, and it was an outstanding sermon about a passage in, of Scripture in the book of Acts where Paul and Barnabas had completed their first missionary journey, and while they were on that journey, uh, John Mark, who was a relative of Barnabas and a young man, certainly had accompanied them on that on that missionary journey. But for whatever reason, during the middle of the journey of the journey, he quit and he went back home. Maybe he got homesick. Maybe he was uh, who knows what happened there. Maybe he just spiritual immaturity. Maybe he just got scared. Maybe he just didn't like it. Maybe he was. Uh, maybe he sinned or maybe he just wasn't right with God. I don't know. The Bible doesn't tell us. But anyway, John Mark quit and he went back home and left Paul and Barnabas to finish the missionary trip by themselves. Well, when they came back to their headquarters and reported what God had done on that trip, after some time went by, they decided to go out on a second missionary journey. And so Paul said to Barnabas, hey, Barnabas, get ready. Let's go out again. And Barnabas said, okay, I'm going to get my nephew. I'm going to get John Mark and he can go with us. And Paul said, I'm not letting John Mark go with us. He quit on the first missionary journey. There's no way he's going back. And Barnabas said, I mean, basically, I'm just kind of paraphrasing the account there. Barnabas said, well, Paul, we need to give him a second chance. He, he quit the first time, but he's a fine young man. He's matured a little bit. He wants to go back and, and he's got a lot to offer. He can contribute to God's work. And Paul said, no way is that quitter going with me. And so if you read the scripture passage there in Acts, it says that the dispute became so so great that Paul and Barnabas split company. Here you have these two great leaders and they reached a disagreement and they just agreed to disagree. And, and Paul took Silas and went one way and Barnabas took John Mark and they went another way. And so Barnabas was the one who gave John Mark a second chance. It's interesting as we read about the life of Barnabas all through the New Testament, uh, we read that he was an encourager. In fact, his name means son of encouragement. And he was always trying to build somebody else up. He was trying to give somebody else a second chance. Maybe somebody who had sinned and blown it. Somebody who had quit. They weren't doing what God had called them to do. Instead of just writing them off as a loser and saying their life will never count again. No, he was in the restoration business and he was trying to encourage them and, and build them up. It's interesting, at the end of the Apostle Paul's life, when he was writing his very last letter, the, the letter that he wrote called Second Timothy, he was in a Roman prison. And as he was writing that letter to Timothy, he said, Timothy, and again, I'm paraphrasing this, he said, please send John Mark. I think that time he just called him Mark. He went by Mark. He said, please send Mark to me so that he can help me because he now is very useful and effective in ministry. So the years had passed now and Paul had seen that when Barnabas gave John Mark a second chance, he had actually done the right thing. And now John Mark has matured and, and uh, become a, a great servant of God. And Paul even says, he's very useful to me in ministry. It's interesting that man that is referred to in Acts is John Mark, who just really went by Mark. He's the one who wrote the gospel of Mark. And so I'm thankful that old Barnabas stood by that, that quitter, that guy who had thrown in the towel, that guy who had gotten homesick or maybe backslidden or whatever it was causing him to, to quit. I'm glad Barnabas gave him a second chance. And so I encourage you, especially during this pandemic, look for ways that you can encourage somebody. Maybe there's somebody that 
has, has done something and they've quit going to church and you, you haven't seen them at church in a while. Of course, we've not seen anybody at church in a long time. But you know what I mean? Maybe they weren't coming to church before this happened. And maybe what they need is a phone call. Maybe they need a text. Maybe they need you to reach out to them and in, in your own way to communicate to that person, hey, I believe in you. I see something good in you. God can still use you. Your life's not over. And let's get back on the course and let's get back to serving God. And so, you know, it says in the Bible that the steps of a righteous person are ordered by the Lord. That's Psalm 37, 23, one of my favorite verses in the Bible. The steps of a righteous person are ordered by the Lord. God directs and orders our steps. And so that means as we go through our days and as we go through our weeks, there will be times when God will providentially place somebody along our life's path. We may see them in a restaurant. We may see them at the gym. We may see them out and about. Who knows we may, where we may see them. Or God may just bring them to our mind and to our heart. And when we do that, we have an opportunity maybe to lead them to Christ, uh, maybe to lead them back into a closer relationship with God, or maybe just to encourage them in some other way. And so what I'm saying is today, I, I encourage you to pray and say, God, who would you have me to encourage today? Who could I be a Barnabas to today so that I could build them up and give them a second chance? And in so doing, we could build up the church, we could build up the kingdom of God, and we could move forward together. So I encourage you to do that. The steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. And when God brings somebody along your life's path or even into your mind, have your spiritual antennas up and know that God is speaking to you and wanting you to encourage them. So have a great day. And I'll look forward to being with you when it's my time again.